couple party members down. Somehow Pig managed to recruit somebody. Yes. <laughs> or he recruited himself, I guess. Yes. Peg. Yeah. Um. Let's see, what did happen? So, yeah, he found, he came back home, found a bunch of military men and women standing in your house. They you, told you they were going to live there for a while. You mean in our... Just a few years, but... No, not, <laughs> hold on, whoa. <laughs> in the town? Wait, in the town or in the office that we have our stuff in? Oh, in the, I mean, they're going to be in the town, but they're pretty much going to, from what you understood, they will be running operations in the town. Like, okay. They'll be in charge. Okay. There will no longer be a city government. <laughs> Can I go to the office and check on my body? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What would that mean for uh, private businesses? Private businesses? Yeah. What's the private? Okay, technically, you're still allowed to run, but you're probably going to end up, at least depending on the the provisions in the whatever gets drafted, you might end up having to render services to the military for free, to some extent. Not really sure how much. Lamos. Yeah, we'll they just... might pay you for some work. We'll just have it's, to. It's kind of up in the air right now. We'll okay. Have to... Get our home. I'll, I'll, I'm sure I can negotiate something. Yeah, but it sounded like Spinthrift might have an idea. The mayor had an unfavorable idea. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I mean, ultimately, the city is not a def- or this town is not a defensible position. Uh, it, it makes more sense for there to be a fort or some fortification that the military is based out of yeah. instead of out of the town. Yeah, pretty much everybody agrees with you. <laughs> like, it doesn't make a lot of sense other than the fact that it's already established. Like, there yeah. are buildings built and things there, which kind of suggests that maybe the reason they want to move in might be because they plan on taking over a little more than they're letting on right now. They're definitely taking <laughs> over more than they're letting on right now. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they brought the tents, but they're probably not going to stay in them for four years. They're probably not going to stay in these tents, guys, for four years. <laughs> <laughs> now it's That's common true. knowledge. <laughs> it's, it's looking like this is going to be uh, martial law from here on out. Uh, so what? Should we just, like, uh, skip town? <laughs> and because my partner, just like, he's gonna voice his disbelief, just like, he's gonna just kind of look around, like, hands on hips, and just sigh heavily and say, you know, I don't really want him here, but I don't want to talk to Lenny either, so somebody better give me a better plan than this. We could kill them all. That seems unlikely and highly illegal. Yeah, there are like 4,000 of them at least. Poison the well. That would probably kill the whole town. Oh, the whole town. Just... Tell everyone to drink at the taverns, not at the wells. That would work. <laughs> you think the taverns <laughs> They make some moonshine. <laughs> so about this body, can I go check it out? <laughs> Fine, yeah, do your thing. Okay, I'm going into the office, guys. If you need me, I'm going to be in there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, you're going to be in Gizmar's office? Yeah, I've got a desk in there with the body stashed under it. Right? There's a shed. <laughs> Go to the shed. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I can carry a body to the shed. Here, here. Just wave to one of the neighbors. <laughs> no. Hey, neighbor. Need some sugar? 
<laughs> we got some. We don't have anything. We don't got enough. <laughs> Flour. You need some sugar? <laughs> Happened to the last guy that asked. <laughs> Sorry. Don't well, come asking for food. <laughs> we're all out of salt. Had to use all of that to involve this guy. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Right. So. Right there for four, man. Does anybody have any other suggestions? Well, our options are. Well, fighting them is not really an option. What about, and you seem to not want to talk to Lenny. Are you just wanting us to go and leave you here? I mean, I don't think he's going to talk to anybody that he doesn't know. So it's you are coming with us? Uh, I can send you with the, the sending stone. It's like a phone. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Awesome. You just talk through it to people. Well, unless you can think of another person who would be able to legally stop the troops from occupying the town. Let me try. Spinthrift, didn't you say something earlier? Yeah, the Spinthrift did mention helping them build a, a a fort or a base outside of town so that they do not have to occupy the actual town itself. Which has merit. Okay. Well, they're going to want to know where they want to put them, and they're going to want options. And I believe it was said earlier, it shouldn't be difficult to persuade them that the town is not... A desirable, defensible location. Wow. How often have you argued with the darn military officers? Military officers? Not often. Officers of my clan? Pretty frequently. That experience might come in handy. Unfortunately, you guys aren't pushovers. They're not just going to take anything for an answer. As a merchant, I also have experience in brokering deals. Well, that's part of why we hired you. Let's get really? to business. So, we got to draft a proposal. We got to figure out where we want to put these guys. Well, what, uh, what place is nearby? Seem like a defensible location. The top of a hill, perhaps, uh, perhaps some other interesting geological formation. The ford, mm -hmm. the fording of a of a river, perhaps. Where's the nearest bend in the river? Be at down, down Bluff. Would be a good bend in the river. That'd be nice because it's actually facing the direction we want to go. I don't know what they need to defend from all that much, though. I mean, a lot of these out here. But they're. In my experience, militaries often don't need something to justify defense. That's what I was just thinking. Oh, we lost Justin. The problem with all the places I can think of off the top of my head Where's Justin? is they're swarmed with bandits. Hey, listen! Justin mm -hmm. they're military. all the way gone. We lost Justin, Justin. That's how we lost? Yeah, he dropped out of D20, but he's also dropped out of Discord, too. That's one of those. Yeah, you're right. There's no this thing. Um, Spinthrift is being very quiet. I'd like to know what she's thinking. Mm -hmm. 
Jordan, is there a gem shop in town that I could there buy is. an Onyx gem for 25 gold there roses? Is. Oh, I was just yeah. saying that Spinthrift has been very uh, quiet. Yeah. Jordan, did you did you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking there's there's somewhere in town. Um, how rare is an onyx? An onyx gem. It says it's 25 onyx, gold. Onyx isn't a gem. Yeah, it's it's a stone. It's not that rare, and you can probably just find one today. It's probably rarer <laughs> than it being on the ground. Well, oh, you're talking like yeah. in a store. Yeah, I, they probably have. St- I mean, this is Wild West. They've got nice stones, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, um, you, if you need to buy them. Gonna leave the body in the shed and go find one. Ye old geology shop. I just walk by you guys. Hey, just keep going. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's. You've got a gem shop in. Or at least you can see one down the strip. Okay. There's a little sign. It's got a pickaxe hanging Aww. from it. It says Prospector Pete's. Ah, uh, I come in. Yo, you Pete. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Pete, can I buy an Onyx gem for twenty five for for twenty five gold? Ooh, how big you want? As m- like an eyeball. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, and he pulls out this big hunk of onyx. Sweet. And he slams it on the table. And he brings out a hammer. Oh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Max the onyx. No way. And little fly everywhere. And he just, like, starts scrambling around on the ground. <laughs> Eventually, he just comes up with a, a piece about the size you want. He's like, "How about this? <sighs> looks, looks great, Pete." <laughs> All right. What is that? Uh, <laughs> don't even say goodbye. I'm just gone. What was that? I don't even say goodbye. I just grab it and go. Leave the twenty-five gold. Take the piece. Come on back now. I go, have an onyx. I go back to the shed. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so after Alucard disappears for 15 minutes, then mysteriously comes back 25 gold lighter. Um, yes. Uh, Gizmark has kind of laid out a map. So, what are we looking Stone. at here? Stone. It says, it says gem. Okay. It's a good option. Um, let's see here. Where else we got? Um, I have not spent hardly oh, anything. <laughs> <laughs> Edge of the canyon's not bad. Most of the rest of this is just open land. I mean, you could, you could argue that that would be a good place to put it. Well, typically, if this is going to be long term, they want to be close to a source of water. True. True. Especially I mean, if they're going to be housing thousands of men there. Yes. Yeah. No, I mean, everything's close to the river. You can't get more than a couple miles away before you're out in open desert. All right, well. And it doesn't take you kind of the structures, so. Is there a uh, crossing point of the river where it's shallow and people ford? They've tried a couple different times. The problem is it shifts too much. Hmm. It'll be good one place for a while, and then it'll dry up. I have a suspicion now with the amount of manpower they brought there probably at least a couple of engineers looking yeah. to build a bridge across this thing. Probably. 
But if there was a place where there was a consistent fording point, then that would make it a desirable location, easier to uh, convince them. Yeah. Okay. People use the bluff every once in a while as a fording point somewhere. Just a quarter mile down the stream. The bluff, is it elevated location? Yeah, of course. Well, then why don't we pitch that yeah, idea? Yeah. What was that? Uh, I was going to say, is both sides of the river elevated at the bluff? No, no, the bluff kind of, it's cut out by the river, so. Well, there you go. That That is desirable location to have. This defensible point you can see uh, much farther than uh, anywhere else. And you are close to a river. And in the bend of the river. And in the bend yeah. of the river. Well, speaking of, probably should pull up that map again. What was that? Oh, uh, just looking for the map oh, that got okay. posted last time. I don't think there's a super... I think it's all very zoomed out. Very zoomed out, though. Yeah, I don't know if it would help a whole lot. Is it north or south? Just a little bit north. I mean, Leatherby's not, like, super on the river. It's a few miles away, but maybe that's better, honestly. Mm -hmm. We're still going to have to put so much food and so much water into that place. And so much stitching. And he kind of looks at Karen. <laughs> Stitching, I'm going to try to fix this hat so that it actually fits. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> you ever seen the paycheck from a from an Adar military job, Eric? Adar military? No. Neither have I. That's my point. <laughs> this is gonna come. Don't know. They pay. When they were contracted with my plan, they were fairly generous. Wow. Well, they were you buying your guys. goods, not taking them by force. Yeah. This is a very different different side of the ocean, my friend. Hmm. Should I walk back to see if I can yeah, yeah, go for it. make this hat more appealing? Jordan? Yeah. The guy that we killed, what was his hit die? Like, was it like a uh, 1d8? It, the number of hit die? Is I, that what I you're think, talking about? Yeah. Not, his hit, he would not, be... not his hit points, his hit die. Like the die that you use. Yeah. It should be a d8. Okay. Did you get my message? Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That was a six. Was a it wasn't. Six. It wasn't. Oh. Okay. Yeah, let me let me look this up real quick. Oh, I've looked up the stuff. If you're wondering about. Oh something. yeah, I just pulled it up for my own purposes. Oh okay. <laughs> can I can I come out of the shed now? Yeah, do you think? You'll okay. try to follow. Okay. I wa uh, are you guys just standing in front where I left you? Well, I think we're of inside. The... I mean, I'm probably would have had a desk uh writing out a few ideas and working on working on my guns. Okay. I come in through the back door and the body that I was carrying is walking behind me. And I say, hey guys, I got our first follower. This is profoundly unsettling. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's pretty disturbing, Elicar, I'm not going to lie. The finger falls off. <laughs> no. He's one of the... He's just... <laughs> what? Excellent. Actually... 
What's <laughs> funny? Mm. Oh, I'm just I'm I'm doing some math in my head. How many guns do each of you guys like? Because both of you mainline uh, two weapon fighting, right? Yeah. I have one gun. I have two weapon fighting. Then Carrick does two weapon fighting as well. Uh, right. I don't have it yet, but I'm picking it up next level, yeah. Okay, so you only oh, have one gun. So it's, it's a double action. Yeah, it's adorable. I, I have a double action cult too. And one of them, the other one is a uh, FNA 3 1300, I think. Okay. Let me double check. So I should have enough bombs left for the day. Make all your guys' weapons flaming. Oh, I have a cult armada. Question: if There isn't a radius on these bombs that you we would be putting into our guns, is there? Uh, no. So I'm um, basically I I am in a uh, discovery that lets me uh, instead of making a bomb, I make something that gives a weapon the flaming property, oh, like right. the magic weapon property. Uh, until I make bombs again. Does that work on magic weapons? Uh, it... I don't remember if it says. Let me see. It's an actual good question. Yeah, I think it does. I'm pretty sure it doesn't specify, but I will look. Uh, Jordan, does that check let me... Make the necessary edits to the hack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You Beautiful. elongate it's it so that it actually fits <laughs> my head. Yeah, it's an unrecognizable. And then re re dye it to a base of dark gray with green trim and then a light gray feather. Yep. Oh, you know. I lied. It only lasts for a minute. That's much more reasonable. Okay. I was going to say, uh, you just yeah. prepare your bombs at the beginning of the day, give everyone flaming weapons. That's first action. That'd be excellent. That's a swift action for me to do it, uh, and it doesn't specify uh, that it can't be on magic weapons. So I will just prepare that for later. Never mind. Uh, well, that's slightly less awesome. Of course when I get to reach when I reach tenth level it becomes flaming burst, so Oh jeez. That's pretty cool. Does that have AoE? Uh it would. Okay, never do that to me ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'm probably never gonna reach fifth level or tenth level in Alchemist. Let a multi class out. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Jordan. Quick question about the important yeah. about the important looking brooch. Mm -hmm. Is that a uh, says saving throw for you or an ally is a free action? Can I do that? Do I have to do that before the throw or after, or can I do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But really, hey, you got this. Where the heck is my gold? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see it down there. No, I did not use all my gold, but I cannot find it anywhere. Also, are we back up to full health? Have we rested? Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll see this is the next day. Okay. Oh, well, there's all my okay. meat. Okay, we're going to go schedule a meeting with some uh, military uh. minds. It's for me. Okay, uh, um, Jordan, me... I have a slight problem. I do not have any gold. <laughs> I know I have some, but it's not in my inventory, so I must not have kept track of it. Oh, well, you guys, I guess you get paid today. Well, that's excellent. Cool. And I have a uh... voice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Take the original invoice. Kind of weird that they pull it up. Not in. There. 
Mm. Turns out the one time Spencer really has a bite. <laughs> well, no, she always has a bite, but the one time she's really willing to <laughs> Only vicious when it comes to business. <laughs> the only time she's willing to use it. The only time she's willing to bite first is. Uh. Maybe my invoice was three ninety one. Yep, you're good. Oh, there it is. I found it. Never mind, we're good. Okay. It's way so at the you top. Each get 200. That's the invoice pr uh, price. For you, you need the invoice. Okay, how much are we getting paid? We get 200, you said? Only. Yep. Only 200. Only? What about the person Where we brought we back? Did we bring back a captive? Uh, yeah. You brought back, uh, what's his name? Garak. Garak. Whoa. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you guys just dumped him at the at the town jail. Oh yeah, we did, yeah. We Got spent it. a night uh before we went to get yes. get meeting. Gold yeah. is right yeah. here. Okay. Oh nice. That's a lot better. Yeah. So Okay, cool. Instead of keeping it down in your inventory. Okay. Yeah. 175. What do I want to make in the six hours I have Let's last night? More now. Whoa, how much did we get paid? 200. Four? Why are you giving me that much? Because you got 200. I don't have that much. Oh, I am. I did. That is how math works. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's how math works. Hey, hey I'm going to go buy another Onyx gem. <laughs> Oh, you consume that when you... No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Me and my buddy are going to go walk to Prospector Pete's. Let's go. The portly Prospector Pete. We should... You're taking, you're taking the... The zombie, yes. We should name him, by the uh, way, guys. What do we want our, our first follower called? Zeke the zombie. He does have a, he does have a name tag. And the next one is... Zed oh, what's his name tag say? Randy. Randy. How uninspiring. <laughs> I tear off the Y. Rand. You'll be Rand. Let's go, Rand. Let's go buy another gem. It's useful. I'll make that. Falls <laughs> off. No, Randy, Rand, hold it together. He grabs his finger off the ground and tries to stick it back on. <laughs> 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 I really need to make you embalming fluid. The worst part is for a second there, it does kind of stick. Oh, gross. <sighs> All right. What are, I guess, well, what are you guys up to? I mean, I would have spent my night uh, making some more stuff, which is not a lot right now. <laughs> Next level. All right. So I can make anything I need to in about four hours. Cool. Then working on my guns and then probably prepping. Okay. Cool, cool. Or the meeting. Yeah, yeah. Is you ready? Do you want to do research or like? Uh, there by chance isn't a uh, place with a like a library that has legal documentation or. Uh, you could probably like, go to the office most likely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He had. He had a. He was going. He was going through some law books to look for. Uh, is to get out of this over there to get himself out of this predicament. I'd like to either aid his assistant or do some research myself on precedents for uh, not taking over a town for not being allowed to take over a town after it has been established. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah. 
don't know what I'll need to roll for that. Um, some sort of knowledge, most likely. Uh, what would that be? Not really a knowledge. Probably law is there. Um, knowledge legal. Maybe. Well, maybe knowledge nobility. Yeah, yeah. Knowledge local, maybe. <coughs> nah, nobility's probably closer. I figure nobility at least is somewhat related to the governance of a country. So. Yeah, let's call it nobility. Let's uh, making it untrained. All right. Yay! Dear goodness. Uh-huh. And you've also got the health of that gnome that was the nearest assistant. Seems a lot, a lot more calm now that somebody else is handling the problem when the mayor's asleep. <laughs> and so he's willing to help you out. Um, yeah, that's enough. You don't necessarily find anything that says that there's not, like, that they can't that you don't have to quarter soldiers. Like, that doesn't really exist. There's no Fourth Amendment. <laughs> or yeah. Third Amendment, whatever it is. In law, but there's not even really, you know, I mean, really operating. No. But you don't... Like, sure. you're, you're a colony, so you don't have the full legal protections that you would if you were mainland. Which is kind of, it's, like, it's a totally different law system than you're used to. Because you know a little bit about this stuff. Also, I'm a Gladelands girl, yeah. Yeah. Like, but you, you, I mean, mm-hmm. you've had enough dealings with your know that you kind of know what's going on. A little bit. Are, is there, like, maybe a military provision that a, a expedition leader is required to make camp in the most uh, defensible position available? Um, the best you can find is that if if these military like if the military could not reasonably be accommodated by the town like it would be it's it's worded very weakly but it basically boils down to if if there's evidence that the that whatever town or city that's being occupied could not reasonably be expected to provide food, housing, uh, water for the number, then the the military has to provide some either relief effort to make sure that everybody stays fed, or they have to they have to find somewhere else to go. Okay, so then what I need is, uh, I'm going to talk to the uh, clerk, and then probably the most uh, assertive that Spendthrift has been this entire time is going to go, okay, I need uh, the most recent uh, census of the town, uh, a count of the number of buildings and their rough square footage, uh, and the tax records going back, let's go five years. Not uh, the actual ones, the ones that you uh, guys probably cooked up so that your taxes back to the home country were uh, less than the actual taxes uh, collected. Hey, we don't cheat the Adarin government. And then even... it, it's business, it doesn't matter. Uh... <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me, let me see what I can find. Basically, I want to compile all of this into a, uh, not a presentation, a uh, briefing packet that explains, like, mathematically uh, why the town is incapable of housing or how the town will go un- insolvent mm-hmm. should it try to house. Yeah, 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 for sure. Jordan, I would like to go sell two guns. Okay. What are you selling? I am selling a pair of FNA Model 1300s. They're the, the beat up crappy ones, right? Uh, I believe these ones are actually the nice ones from the guys we killed. 
Oh, okay. Got it. I don't think we even bothered grabbing the crappy ones. What was that? I don't think we even bothered grabbing any of the crappy ones from the the coyotes. Yeah, yeah, that was... They didn't have much to offer. Uh, let me see here. Okay, yeah, there's definitely a place to do it. Um... Let's see how much... Okay. Um, give me a... I guess it would be, like... I mean, are you trying to sell them for more than they're worth? Or like, I mean, I want to get a good price. Okay. And then, they'll offer you 60 gold apiece. Hmm. Can I actually real quick? I'm gonna. Can I roll an appraise to see if I can figure out the yeah, yeah. the value of what these would be? Hey, hey, that's me. Oh, that's um, yeah, they will. I mean, you think you could probably get about eighty, eighty-five gold out of them if. If they, if you like dedicated the time, they like said, opened up a store. You could probably, you could probably pull about like an eighty. If I did profit. If I did what? Like if you owned a store, if you bought these, they'd be about eighty five gold. Oh, okay, okay. A retail price, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll try to try to bargain them up to sixty five a piece. Sixty five. Oh yeah, roll me. Roll. Diplomacy? What was that? You, you want yeah, diplomacy? Lying about it, yeah. It's diplomacy. Yay! And he just kind of looks at you. And you know this is like just a merchant thing he's got. He's basically required to say this. But he's like, yeah, I have to tighten these screws on a hammer. And I'm going to have to I have to make sure that the, the rotation on this barrel gets fixed. But 65 should be fair. All right, you've got yourself the deal. Okay. You are oh, rather, you have yourself a deal. <laughs> stay, in, stay in character. Cool. All right. You count it out. Yup. Counter. Cool. And then he kind of notices the gun that you got strapped to your hip. Well, that's a nice. That's a nice piece. You selling that? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, yeah, well, you know, I have to change your mind. I appreciate the offer. And I'm going to head out. I assume he was talking about the cult double action. Yeah, that's... What... Yeah. You yeah, know. <laughs> you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, wink. Wink, wink, yeah. <laughs> Not the quite. Yeah, he might be clear talking about the gun. But, um... Alright. Me and Rand... Me and Rand are buying, um... <laughs> You and Rand. Four total of the Onyx gems today. So three more. You buying four? Yeah. Oh, three more. Three more. Okay. Yeah. Alucard and Rand, the most horrifying zombie version of Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> you don't want to see what happens to Susie in this one. You just can't. Just. I've found so much stuff now about zombies, guys. Be afraid. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so excited. Is like one of the terrifying system for necromancy. Yeah, so excited. It's essentially like the horror game. Really it. <laughs> it's low-key the horror game. Um, Rand and I will go back to the desk, to the office. I'll put like my feet up on the table and kind of look over at Carrick and... Twiddle my thumbs. 
We're going to do the same thing. All of his thumbs fall. Yeah, <laughs> Trudel's his thumb. <laughs> this guy, his fingers are not strongly attached. <laughs> Carrie, you you cool with this? Once I get over the smell, I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll buy some spices. <laughs> <laughs> Start rubbing spices into the dead corpses. <laughs> it puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> Just dry it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, well... No, it do, it wouldn't work. <laughs> no, I have a spell that's restore corpse, but the flesh is somewhat rotten and not fit for eating. Is what it specifically said. So it would still smell yeah. bad. So no, eating. It's in there. It's a thing. So like maybe for <laughs> like, you can't restore a uh, cattle. Road kill, so you be eating. Yeah, we can't just eat yeah. some cattle out there. Twiddling my thumbs. <laughs> Gross. Gonna take a nap. All right, is uh, Spinthrift back? Uh, that's a good question. How? I guess do I need a roll for how convincing my documentation is? Probably like a combination of linguistics and diplomacy. Um, we'll say linguistics for right now. This is such a is the first one. And then when you're trying to present the argument, oh, okay. Evil yeah. What do you say? Evil Yeah, the the horrifying version of Catherine Collins or something. Wait till I get some skeletons. Oh yeah, flaming skeletons all the way. <laughs> all right. Oh man. Here it comes. Alucard just had the best day in a long time. He got to help Spinthrift drink for the first time, and he animated a corpse for his first time. It's a great day. <laughs> this is the first time he smiled since the accident. <laughs> it was not an accident! <laughs> but yes, That's it true. is the first time <laughs> that he has smiled. <laughs> As Alucard is sitting there twiddling his thumbs... It was not an accident! Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Rand! This voice is his head. Yeah, that's right. Shut up, Rand! You know, you weren't even there! Stop looking at me with your stupid zombie face! You, know you're, you don't know my backstory. You don't know me. <laughs> Actually, you're a zombie, so you don't know anything. You guys are totally cool with this necromantic cleric just chilling with the party. Does fine. that have enough backbone to speak up against this? This will be fine. And I mean, <laughs> undead labor is not entirely unheard of in the Glade Lands. It's just not common. It's not unethical. It's just going to just rot anyway. I can get sued if I say anything. <laughs> Gizmark. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hmm, I don't know if I've ever seen necromancy before, but. Uh, you don't have to pay him. Randy was just... Rand. Well, well, Randy... Oh. ...was dead, and he's gone, and it's just his meat puppet left behind. So... Yep, pretty much. I just wouldn't take it to church with you. I don't go to church. Oh, I... Yeah! I don't go to church, the cleric says. <laughs> I don't! I don't go to church, he says. We couldn't tell. <laughs> okay. Curse the gods. Well, Wait a minute. A meeting. Don't you it's get your spells from gods? Go. Aren't your spells divine in nature? I haven't seen you pulling out any components and waggling your fingers and muttering under your breath like some wizard. Yeah, so... Most gods are kind to their followers. 
Uh, mine is not. Oh. There's a little hinge of pain at the base of your neck when you say that. <sighs> You've gotten used to it by this point, but every time you say anything bad of... about my god, he just flicks it. Oh, I yeah, hate that guy. A little bit. Freaking hate him. Why do you follow him then? Well, you kind of would follow someone who saved your life, even if you hate him. Oh. He saved your life? Yep. You do not seem happy about that. Nope. Were you in a dark place? Did you try to take your own life? It's not like that, okay? Well, then what is it like? When I was a kid, my parents and I were moving, and someone <laughs> killed <coughs> my parents and killed me. And I was saved by my god. Two, three days later, and, uh... It's not, it's just not been a good life since then, okay? So I would have rather died that day. It's called survivor's remorse. Happens a lot, especially with soldiers. Well, I did die. Well, I guess it's, well, but you're here. So you technically survived, even though you died for a little bit. I think the god is just mocking me. Ah, uh, well. Keeping me alive so I can suffer. So, I'll make other people suffer. Yeah, that definitely seems emotionally healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Completely off topic from this. Glad uh, to know that you're very Can I also use my uh, craft calligraphy skill to make my document look pretty? Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. Roll to see how pretty it is. Oh, it's slightly above average. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's a little splotchy, but whatever. I get for not bringing my own calligraphy kit from home. You see, you see, military <laughs> dust, you see this is much better than they're expecting. <laughs> oh, perhaps right. Kerry can put, like, uh, put it in, like, I don't know, put fabric around it to give you a nice ribbon to tie it up in. Seal it with a, with a seal. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, craft up a nice little, like, uh, scroll case type thing for it. Okay, okay. I do, in fact, have, uh, wax in the Winter Whistle, uh, official seal, uh, on me. That's epic. You could probably, like, here, roll me, roll me, like, what's insight? It's motive. It's a chance motive. I feel like that's not the best use of my seal, though. Roll me a sense motive real quick, yeah. <laughs> you think an official seal might get you that, that general? A, mm. a seal might be useful. Yeah. I've heard yeah, that yeah. military <laughs> really likes things that look official. Okay, okay. I will... Um, I'll use my uh, Winter Whistle Signet Seal. Uh, I guess, I mean, I've already done this uh, cost-benefit analysis uh, dossier uh, in the style of all of our preset forms from the clan, because that's really all I know. Yeah, yeah. This is just a cost-benefit analysis from a functionary of a gunsmithing clan. Yeah. Okay, okay I'll put a seal on it. Good. Wow. 
you guys march down to town hall? Are we taking the zombie? Yep, we're taking Rand. Uh, like, uh, I feel like this is not. I think perhaps you should He's leave like, stop you. Feel, the yeah. zombie behind. <laughs> Listen, I'm not sure the I'm soldiers would like that. They've got some rules that we don't really have down here. Can I just put a nice new cloak on him and cover him up? And he goes, mm-hmm. Can you lift your feet, please? No, 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 pull it. How much command do you have over him? Um, I can make him hurt people. And do what I tell him And do what I tell him to. So, pretty good okay. command. He only listens to me. Okay. So... Hey, you know, Rand! I'm just, Rand! I'm not control- Rand, play now. dead. <laughs> See, he knows his tricks. He just shrugs. <laughs> I can leave Rand here. That might that might get us a lot farther than. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Rand, sit, stay. He just plops down on the ground. He just looks up at you and starts whimpering. Good boy. I just said if we're gonna go and uh, vomit real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's, to, uh, pull that's out unsettling. A and start sketching out some clothing designs for a tight fitting suit and doll <laughs> mask. For Rand? <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> Uh, okay. Alucard yeah, would want to know. Went through town. There is an increased military presence from yesterday, somehow. Hmm. <laughs> they're they're kind of going everywhere. You know, it looks like they're scouting out. They've got little like clipboards and they're writing things down. They're walking to different storefronts. They're walking to different houses and asking questions. And then they're like. The bigger soldiery looking ones that are starting to. It looks like they're just filling burlap sacks with sand for some reason. Just in massive quantities. I'd like to check back on my storefront and see if. Okay. Um, you find one of your assistants defiantly standing in the doorway, <laughs> uh, trying to. To essentially um, pressure out some low grade officer who looks very unhappy to be in the duties. <laughs> I'd like to kind of like scurry over and just be like, hold on, hold on, what's going on here? What's going on? Um, well, sir, we're, we're just asking this woman about her business and we'd like to see if we can, you know, what services we could have rendered. And the potential for for housing development. We're looking for a lot of different things right now, and we need to have access to this building. What access are you talking about? I'm the owner of the establishment, so you can deal with me directly. Well, right here, I've got a writ from the King of Dar that says that you need to move out of the doorway. So that I can see how many sinks we can jam into this building. We need a new showers. Let me see. Let me see that bit. He hands it over to you. Uh, can I? What? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Linguistics, maybe. Linguistics. Ability. Appraise. Ability. Yeah. Maybe knowledge or ability or linguistics, probably. So it wouldn't be knowledge local. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hooray, knowledge nobility. The only thing that, the knowledge knows. that no one thought they would ever need. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, linguistics wouldn't work then? No, linguistics is good. 
Okay. I, I'm trying to find something that I have a bonus in that could actually work for this. <laughs> Diplomacy is not it. Um, Diplomacy would help you argue with him after you know what's going on. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. Hey! Oh, wow. Here yeah, goes nothing. Yeah. I mean, Eric's first roll. As far as you know, oh, in the Darn Law, this is like ironclad. That he has whatever. And what's it actually? Want. What's it actually like communicating? He's overstepping a little bit because he's kind of speculating. Mm-hmm. Essentially, this gives him permission to go in and to look, but not touch. Essentially, is the idea. Okay. You know, he can do some window shopping, but he's not allowed to really make any adjustments on. Mm-hmm. He can appraise it, but he can't do anything else. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll communicate exactly that to him. Okay. I'll communicate that you'll be in a meeting with the general uh, shortly, and that you will make sure that this will will be addressed. Yeah. And then I would also kind of like to walk through my shop with him and take every opportunity the establishment would be ill-fitting to the needs that he described. Okay. Uh, Give me a diplomacy check. Not bad. Not bad. It's just good enough. Like, he just has this scowl on his face and the more you talk, the more it gets, like, the bigger it gets. And eventually he just looks at you Listen, sir, I really must be giving. If you're in the need of any tailoring, I'd be happy to render my services for a price. I'm sure we would be. Good day. Come on. And you think you've essentially, like, kind of de facto rebuffed him by taking his time? <laughs> <laughs> Was the goal. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Okay. Okay. So. Did he ever ask for that document back? What? Did he ever so, ask for the document back, or do I still have it? I mean, it really isn't super important now. Now that he's gotten entry, it's that's really all it was good for. Okay, I'd, I'd like to hold on to that. Ooh! <laughs> Fuck. This is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, just change a couple of words and suddenly we've got a free pass to anywhere. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Think you could tailor us some Adaran military uniforms? Oh my gosh. I've been taking note of what they've been wearing. For Rand? Oh my god. (laughs) That sounds like a PR nightmare about to happen. Let's do this. We're going to break the campaign. Breaking news. (laughs) A zombie was spotted wearing a darn military uniform. Raises the question, what, what, how low will the darn military stoop to control the frontier? (laughs) (laughs) Old West Anderson Cooper is going to have a field day with this one. Oh. <laughs> coming, no, through, coming to you live from... No. <laughs> either either an Old West Ander- Anderson Cooper or a young Larry King. <laughs> wow. What? He's, so he's super old. Yeah, Let's be honest. Just be honest, a middle-aged Larry King. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, wow, that's great. Actually, he may have been born an old man, so I don't know. <laughs> he's like the... the Benjamin. Benjamin, Benjamin. Yeah, yeah, he's... But he's still... Can I start looking through this Rolodex? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for it. Do I see oh, any yeah. name that pops out at me? For... Um... Justin, what did you say that there are certain uh, corpses that can keep certain stuff? If they're animated I... again. Is it, so all that I found for reanimating a corpse is that you can't, like, 
keep its like skills, skills other than toughness. So low level, not a lot. Uh, not a lot. There are like there are uh, undead that you can eventually uh, create. They're like higher level undead. They keep their like intelligence and class skills. So like. Uh, zombie lore, or skeletal champions, juju zombies, Got it. Uh, ghouls, gas. Ghouls are nasty. Yeah. I love ghouls so much. Oh my gosh. Faiths, I think. Cool. Oh. I'm just going to make mental notes of all the um, intelligent magic people in this Rolodex, yeah. if that's a thing. Oh, cool. Yeah, 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 go for it. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll, we'll probably go with an hour later, because Justin, you need to be gone. Do you live? Four minutes, yeah. Okay, then, yeah, and we'll try to wrap things up then. Uh, Can I just say real quick, as a DM, ghouls are my favorite undead creature in the entirety of the game. Okay. <laughs> I will look those up. <laughs> well, they're right. so, yeah, you they get to people. the town hall, yeah. which is just an Right. I'd like to, real quick, uh, the assistant that was holding him at the door, I'd like to give him a little on-the-spot five gold bonus. Okay. She's very pleased with that. It's like, that's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> that's a significant amount of money. Awesome. All right. So, yeah, if you guys... Value and loyalty. My zombies can make other zombies. <laughs> So you guys make your way in, um, you're ushered into the mayor's office, and there is a panel of intimidating looking people wearing all white, sitting down at the table across from the mayor. And he's, and from mayor's table, he looks at you all and says, oh, Gismark, whoever you are, along with the rest of you, glad to see you. But he has this look in his eye that basically says, not. What was that? He's not happy to see us. <laughs> no, no, he's he's very happy to see you. Oh. So he's got a look in his eye that says, "Thank God you're here." Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, just sit down. Just sit down at the table, and we'll have a conversation with these nice ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and he kind of pulls up the shirt collar. Hey. <laughs> <clears throat> As we were saying, it seems that we're going to need to requisition more resources from the surrounding area. I just don't think Leatherby has the potential to hold an encampment of the size that we're after. Currently. Just point of order so that it's going through. Before uh, before we walk in, Spencer is going to whip out two bottles and is going to down an abstract of Eagle Splendor. And uh, heightened awareness. <laughs> oh, perfect. Also, as you're kind of going through the door, <laughs> Gismark kind of, like, he nudges you a little bit through, and he says, listen, this doesn't go well. And he kind of, like, pulls out a flask or something. <laughs> I got you covered for that, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> what are the uh, official colors... Regarding, like, the company that, that you use the seal of? Uh, official colors uh, for my co- our, my company is um, red, black, and green. Red, black, and green. Okay. Can we say that I whipped up a kind scroll of, like, with long the... wrapped scroll case in this yeah, color? Yeah, not a problem. Okay. For you, black is the primary or the company. Black's the primary. Okay, so we have black, black scroll case with decorative red and green. Um, okay, perfect. Thread work. Very Christmas goth. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Spinthers will come in, uh, and when the general says that he's not certain that Leatherby can provide the capacity I'm looking for or they're looking for, Spencer will stand up and uh, 
him the official one to the general and then the how many how many uh, aides does the general have? Two aides. What was that? How many aides does the general have? Uh, three. All right, I, then I'll have in triplicate mm -hmm. uh, copies of my perfect, or, like the last <laughs> fancy looking. Yeah, yeah. So the general gets his, and he, you know, the rest of them just kind of stony face. When he gets his, he looks down and pops open the tube. And so far, he looks kind of like interested. And then he, you know, shuffles it out of the case, turns it around, and sees the the seal and just there's a little a little hint of a smile at the corner of his mouth on behalf of uh the winter whistle uh crafting clan uh and as part of an ongoing contractual contractual obligations to the adara military uh i performed a cost benefit analysis uh going back through the finances of the last 10 years, uh, as noted in, and I'll start naming like sections uh, and diagrams, uh, the solvency <laughs> of leather bean. Uh, I've also uh, created a catalog list of the uh, liquid assets and, uh, and hard uh, assets of the town. Uh, in conjunction with a the requirements of a force of your size, uh, you will note that uh, within the year, the town of Leathery will become insolvent uh, to the point of requiring uh, military aid. Uh, if you skip to section three, you'll find a cost-benefit analysis of creating a fort at the, whatever the bluffs are called, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, at, the bluff, at the bluffs. You will note a, uh, uh, a vastly increased startup cost. Uh, but if you look at the projected uh, timelines of, of both cost and uh, military aid, you will find that a secondary encampment located... Uh, if not at the bluffs, at a location equidistant uh, from Leatherby as the bluffs are, to be at a 10% increase of, or decrease in cost overall, and will not uh, burden the town with the, uh, the presence of your military so that it will not go insolvent, which means that they will continue to pay their taxes, which means they will continue to support uh, the proud Adara military. She's so awesome. <laughs> um, hey, Jordan. That was yeah. so convincing. What's the surrounding area of Leatherby look like? Is it just flat lands? Mm, yes. or... Nice roll. Good job, Jordan. That was a good roll. Or Justin. Um, good job, Justin. It's, I mean, think like, you know, you drive to Prosser or Hermiston. It's kind of that sort of feel a little bit, but more okay. desert-y. But there's, like, rolling hills and leather bees, like... But the, it's, like, rolling hills and kind of scrubland with more desert? More or less, yeah. And there's, well, you know, yeah. some rocky features here and there. But okay. So more, more, more step and less shrub. Yeah, exactly. There's not a lot of vegetation. <clears throat> step is a good way to put it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. After, uh... When, uh, after Spinney's little exposition. Also, uh, while admittedly I don't understand the intricacies of the economy, like my friend here, um, I have fought in wars before, and Leatherby is not an enviable defensible position. Look at the surrounding area. These rolling hills block line of sight. Enemies could sneak up on you very easily. You could find yourself surrounded. I definitely think that uh, what the bluff... Is it north or west of town? A little bit northwest. The northwest, yeah. The bluffs to the northwest by the river give you clear sight lines to the surrounding lands. Uh, access to clean water, which is very important if you have a large garrison force. And uh, puts you close to an area that should be easy to 
bridge, I'm sure you have engineers. Yeah. And puts you close mm -hmm. enough to Leatherby to be able to use their craftsmen or uh, whatever to repair any items or purchase any items you do not already have. Thomas, what do you think of this proposal? And he looks at one of his aides, and this this kind of like mousy woman. She she's like very intently like scanning through this document, and she looks up. It was our original plan anyway, but there was the the problem of the. And Gizmar just kind of puts his hand up. I'm talking about the Watertown boys. Yes, it is to them. And, uh, who, who are the Watertown boys? <sighs> they took over the Mount Bluff about five years ago. They're in there pretty deep. I mean, nobody really knows how many of them are on a lot. Definitely not 4,000. But I'm guessing it's not something the military wants to use its resources on. At least its manpower. That's the... Absolutely. How would you feel about hiring a, a private contractor group to take care of the problem for you? There's a price. We've tried to, to requisition the, the uh, Cambo Wranglers outfit, but they touch far too much and don't put much results for for work. Well, How much did they charge? Last count I remember. They, they talk a big game. They said 3,000 gold per day and five prep days. With one day for the assault. <laughs> it seemed excessive to me. So I said that we didn't need it. I just turned to Gizmark and kind of whispered to him. What do you normally charge for this kind of thing? Less than sure that. Um, I'll talk business real quick here. <laughs> I think we can play ball. And Gizmark just kind of, he pulls his head away. Well, you see, the problem is you didn't go to the premier mercenary operation running out of Motherby. <laughs> you want quality, consistency, and fair prices. You can just mark expedition time. I know, I know, we're young, but... Look around, we've got experience. Just two days ago, we killed a band of were coyotes. Indeed we did. Indeed we did. A whole pack. Have you were coyotes, General? Didn't think so. We'll do it for 10,000. <laughs> kind of gets this, this face again. It's that smile that he saw when he when he looked at the uh, when he looked at the scroll tube and when he when you mentioned his gun on his hip. I have a seven sound. And gives me like this eight. Very well. That's that. <laughs> Well, I'm glad we got so this gonna... all sorted out. <laughs> okay. So yeah, the ink gets signed. Everyone looks happy. Well, one of the aides is kind of going down a little bit about how many thousand is too much for five. Yeah, I forgot all his face down. Thinking about my camera. For the most part, yeah. And I wasn't there when you guys were. <clears throat> As you guys are. Okay. 
Oh, After I... the main important negotiation is settled, um, I'd like to hand the general uh, my, the business card for Carex Clovios. <laughs> <laughs> just say, if you men are in need of new uniforms, we'd be more than willing to render our services. Uh, it has been a well while since the parade outfits me. I imagine it's like an embroidered card. <laughs> it's a fabric card. It's like on a piece of felt. Knit into it, but like with cardstock or something in the middle, so it's no, 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 no. It's just a tiny cross stitch. <laughs> <laughs> a cross stitch on like thin leather. There you go. Oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. Epic. Perfect. Yeah. So good. It's good. It's good. So, yeah, meeting wraps up, and then, you know, you see Gizmark is just, like, he's looking pretty, pretty, like, happy and high on himself, and you see him kind of, like, Spencer, if you remember the pocket that he was, that he showed you in the last game, you notice he's kind of, like, edging up towards that every once in a while, like, subconsciously kind of tugging at that pocket. And as soon as the the general leaves, you guys go out, you walk out of town hall, and as soon as you're out of earshot of him, like, Gizmark just looks around, and he, he kind of like huddles you all up, and he says, we are so screwed. <laughs> what are you talking about? That went really well. What happened? You don't understand. We just got hired to kill some people. Oh, I'm in. The water Watertown boys? There's at least 35 of them in there, and they're all good. Good. Two questions. Wasn't there? Three questions. <laughs> are they in the bluffs? Like, are they in a fort, or are they in, uh... Are they in, like, a cave system? Both. And they've been down there for a long time, and nobody knows what they're doing. All we know is, every once in a while, there's some crazy lights. Something wanders its way down from the from the bluffs, and usually I have to go kill it. Well, what is it usually? Okay. What was that? What do you usually Second have question. to kill? You know somewhere where I can buy a large amount of oil and gunpowder. Oh, he's got three questions. Hang on. I like where you're going with this. Spindrift, you are thinking like a tactician. I probably go. What about your third question? <laughs> I mean, they just put. This is a long shot, but they just put that gun factory in. Spinny! It's a good point. They might hold it. Okay. I'll see you guys. Spinny. I gotta go. Oh, oh, oh bye. Bye. okay. Spin bye, Justin. Oh. Are you heading out? Got it, yeah. Okay, give me... You have two minutes? Minutes, go for it. Okay. By the way, this came in for you, and Gizmark hands you a letter. Well, fantastic. And, yeah, you open it, and... Inside, it's an urgent missive from the new Sarah branch of, uh, of uh, Winter Whistle, whatever the company name right. yeah. And it says something about how there's some corporate espionage going on. They don't know what's happening. All the new designs have been stolen. And oh, they think the Zephnaf boys did it. <laughs> oh, snap! Freaking Zephnaf okay. 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 Well, and with that, I think it's time to wrap things up. All right. Yeah, bye, Justin. See you, Justin. Yeah, see you guys. Okay. Yeah. All right. We, also, I think, I think Jake's going to be back on soon. <gasps> cool. Do we get to level up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, to, not for this one. There All right. No <laughs> I animated uh, somebody. You, know, <laughs> you guys are probably going to experience next time. So. I'm so excited right. to be a necromancing cleric. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm, <laughs> I'm just, to... I'm just excited to take one more level in Gunslinger and then start multi-classing out, so... Yeah, definitely. It sounds like I'm in that sick boat. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I'm. I've like finally decided where I'm gonna go, so it should be fun. Yeah.
That's possible. Nice. I'm excited to see. All right. All Bye. right. See you guys. Bye, guys. Yeah. Bye. Thank you.